Hi, I'm David again with RVRenting.com's info video tip and today I have Nancy, the manager of El Monte RV at their corporate headquarters in Santa Fe Springs, California. Today we're going to take a look, Nancy, at, at our Class C 2013 25 footer. I'll tell you, not all RVs are equal when they call about a Class C. This is a 2013 and this is beautiful. Yes, it is. Go ahead and come inside, take a look. So there are smaller Class C's and there are larger Class C's. Yes, this Tell me would be the second uh, smallest. We have a 22 and this is our next size available, the 25. So the benefits to this got to be that it certainly is cheaper. Of and course. And you're also getting a 2013. Yes. But you can fit into a tighter spot. And exactly. You not, most campsites I've heard have like a 26 limit some of them so this is always perfect and, and from head to toe this is a total length of 25 of 25 but they do run from 23 to 25 foot so you can always reserve a 25 but it's going to be either 23 24 or 25 oh I got, just you. I got you range size. now this particular one does not have the slide outs no this does not have a slide out um it's just the way it is it's just simple this way and it's of course the price is cheaper because it does not have a slide out definitely so Go ahead and, and share this information about this of to everybody course. that's watching here because this is a definite advantage to be able to pay the price of a Class C motorhome but yet get the uh, opportunity to have a 2013. Yes, so these all they have uh, pretty much have everything inside like a house on wheels. Your kitchen as your fridge, you know, you have your freezer, you have your stove top with your oven. Um, you have your sink to wash the dishes. You have a microwave. Everything you have in your home, pretty much, you will have here. Um, here's a bed in the back. You have uh, windows everywhere for you to be fresh in here. You have your shower and toilet in here. Of course, it's a little bit smaller in size, but if you're a smaller family, then it shouldn't be a problem at all. And then there's closets everywhere for your storage, for your items. You have your dinette uh, table that turns into a bed actually later on after you're ready to go to bed. <laughs> and it also has a TV in here, which you just, um, either you have to be at a campsite hookup or you have to be in an area where there's good reception for you to be able to watch because a digital TV. Okay, excellent. Let me ask you this. A lot of people ask us questions. Are there ways to get discounts? Can they bring a AAA card? Or of how does course. that work? We offer AAA. We offer military discounts. Um, it just depends. Sometimes we offer a special. With, it's considered to be the 53 miles per day special with mm -hmm. any additional miles at 25 cents. So if you get that special, then you cannot combine it with any other discounts. Um, if you do not, or if you're not traveling very far, you're better off going with a AAA or a military discount, depending on which one you have. Um, and you can always follow up with us on our website, almontierv.com, and they have all information on what specials we have. For example, Valentine's special, Fourth of July specials. Definitely. Definitely. Check I just out. know that El Monte RV has such an emphasis on a modern fleet, and that is just so yes. important. Yes. We buy brand new motorhomes every year, which is great. And um, we also have the most priority of vehicles from our Fun Mover, that's half RV, half storage, um, trailers. The Class A diesel pushers, you know, we just have a big variety, especially our family sleeper that has bunk beds inside, Definitely. which maybe one day you guys can come back and take a look at that. Absolutely will. This is a 25-footer. How many people can sleep in this particular motor? This vehicle is equipped for um, five passengers, actually six, I'm sorry, six. So you can you can actually sleep six in this one if, if you know, if you wanted to, but you have this bed here, the bed on the top, and the bed in the back. And your Class C's range and sleepability from what to what? Uh, anywhere from two to five, two to six. And then the, this one does not have the slide outs. Later in another video, we're gonna feature that spectacular 2013 Class C that has the slide outs. And that one sleeps how many? That one sleeps eight. All right, that's coming at a future video that we'll do. Another question that comes up to, uh, to us with frequency is just, um, what do we do? We drive into a place like this and we wanna leave our car or we could fly in and we could actually then get we picked up definitely have availability for both of those situations first of all if you want to leave your vehicle here it's five dollars a day to leave your vehicle 
um, and you just park it in our lower lot. We have security on the lot, and then you leave the keys with us, and when you return, we'll give you your keys back, and you're set to go. So subsequent to that, if you have luggage or anything you want to leave behind, just leave it in your car. Yes, exactly. And or what if you don't we have, have a luggage room where you can leave your Oh, outstanding. That's just what I was going to ask you. Outstanding. Yeah, we give you a little ticket, and you just bring it back when you return. We'll I also saw luggage. some bicycles over there. Yes, we rent bicycles, bike racks. We also rent out the sleeping, bedding, uh, sheets, towels, everything like that. All the kitchen equipment. Does that include a toaster? Uh, the toasters are for $10 for the trip. Outstanding, because who wants coffee to lug machine, around a toaster? Coffee machine as well. Oh, excellent. So, um, uh, another question that comes in is, you know, can we put anything on the roof to store or, or, or anything that we're taking? No, not for storage. The roof is just basically for the maintenance people to take care of any any issues on the top with the air conditioner or anything like that. It's not really for storage or anything like that up there. So then you supply a rack that connects to the hitch. Yes. And in it doing it connects so, to the hitch and you can install your bike. It could be for two to three bikes. And so we could bring our own bike, someone could bring their own bikes. Yeah, and if you don't want to pay for the towing, because if we remove the lock without you having the bike rack here, we have to charge you for towing. Okay. So if you don't want to be charged, make sure you bring your bike rack with you, and we'll remove the lock at no charge, but make sure you bring your bike rack with you. That's for people that want to bring their own bike, their exactly. own bike rack, mm -hmm. um, and then go from there. If they're not bringing a hitch mount, they could bring their bikes and then rent your exactly. rack over rent here. Exactly, rent our rack here. And then how many bikes can you put on that? Uh, two to three. Oh, that's excellent. Mm -hmm. That is just really fantastic. So um, anyway, I just want to say to uh, Nancy, it's a pleasure to be here like this of and show course. people such a modern fleet yes, that definitely. all this is is pretty much start and go to your destination and have exactly. a wonderful time. We try to make everything as easy as possible for the customers. That's yeah, a pleasure. My name is David. I'm with RVRenting.com. You could always reach us at info at RVRenting.com.